friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is an intermittent cataract while doing capsular axis the rexis ran out in this case let us see what happened and how it was managed this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratin and now one side port is being made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away another side port is made on the right side of the main incision about the same distance away the patient is under topical anesthesia however the patient is cooperating quite well so the right side port is made now an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber and now tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule beneath this air bubble and now i take a simco and wash the dye out of the anterior chamber now 2% spmc is injected into the anterior chamber and the anterior chamber is filled up with this visco and it is applied over the cornea it improves visibility to do and now see what happens as i try to do capsular excess 26 gauge bare needle is used to make a c flap and now i take a uterator forceps and as i try to do as i try to do little periphery it goes so i should have aimed probably for a smaller rexis as i try to go to the left it went to periphery one more reason maybe i had a cotton tipped junction bud on my left hand and it caused some pressure on the eyeball i don't know that maybe on factor and now whatever has happened has happened now we have to manage the case from now onwards we have two options either we can cut to sics or we can proceed with feco as i see that this nucleus is not hard it is a grade 3 nuclear sclerosis so i proceed with feco i make a nick at 8 o'clock and rexis is done inferiorly and now i take the keratin make a posterior limbal incision at 4 o'clock take the vana scissor and make a cut here on this flap at 2 o'clock should be a nice cut yes it is done and now i take the uterita again hold this capsular tag and enlarge the rexis on this side and now my plan is to prolapse this nucleus in the anterior chamber i want to bring it out the capsular bag so i take a sinski hook and dial the lens and the lens 
the nucleus comes out and I place it at the iris plane. Inject visco and now I ask for the FECO handpiece. At this time I asked to decrease the bottle height. Usually my bottle height is about 130 centimeter. I brought it down to 100 centimeter and decreased the vacuum a little bit. Flow rate also reduced a little bit and started chopping and emulsifying the nucleus. The bevel is sideways and I'm emulsifying this free nuclear fragment. The thing is the nucleus has again gone into the capsular bag but I am not pressing on the posterior capsule. I am emulsifying just above the iris plane, ensuring a gap between the fecondidal and the corneal endothelium. And since the nucleus was not very hard, I could manage it. But if the nucleus is brown, if it is a hard nucleus, I will not try to proceed with FECO. Even if the patient is posted for a premium I will, I will convert to SICS and place the premium I will and oppose the conjunctiva very nicely with releasable sutures. The small bit of nucleus is to be removed first and now I remove the cortex. The cortex from the superior aspect is to be removed now. It's not coming nicely. and at this time it is coming. And now I want to go through the 4 o'clock side port which I made. I am holding the Simco with my left hand and aspirating with my right hand at this time. And here it is a big chunk of cortex from 11 o'clock came out nicely and now I inject visco and fill up the AC and capsular bag I was fortunate that the rexis didn't extend posteriorly and now this is an intraocular lens from NIDIC. The haptic appears to be really long. And now the lens has to be placed in this way. The extension is at 2 o'clock and the haptics should be 90 degree away from that point and now I remove the visco I cannot go behind the eye wheel with Simco so I'm just removing the visco from the anterior chamber And now I take the 
bimanual irrigation aspiration irrigate the anterior chamber very nicely and remove most of the visco and now I go to the right side right edge of the lens and go behind the eye wheel at that point and irrigate the capsular bag thus the visco from the capsular bag was removed and now again the irrigation and aspiration is used together the lens has rotated a bit but it is okay the lens is nicely centered the side ports are closed very nicely the main wound doesn't require any hydration and this is the final lavage of the interior chamber at this time whatever visco molecules sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out so we have managed the case well but we have to judge the hardness of the nucleus before we proceed with FECO if it is soft probably we can proceed with FECO but if the nucleus is hard I think we should not take any risk even if the patient is posted for a premium category I will thank you very much for your attention please judge your situation very well listen to your intuition and always give benefit to the safety thought think which is safe for the patient and do accordingly.